Hi guys, let's get started. Let's make one of these, an ice lolly holder. And before we get started, don't forget I make videos every single week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My question for this video is, do you sew during the summer months? Let me know in the comments down below. We're going to have two pieces of fabric, five inches by five inches squared. You can get these already cut. These were in my scrap pile. And then cut some Velcro four inches long. Now, the reason why it's four inches is because we have some seam allowance that we want to get around here. So it's going to be like a quarter of an inch. So you don't want to catch that in your Velcro. So first things first, let's attach this Velcro section right here. This is the fluffy side of this Velcro. So I am not going to change any settings on my sewing machine right here. You can tell this because all these grayed out section here, these are all the manufacturer's settings. So we we'll keep exa everything exactly the same and it's set as a straight stitch. Right here we have just a regular white polyester thread in the sewing machine. I always sew with a Microtex 9040 needle and I have my regular J foot on and if you're not sewing with a um, Baby Lock Soprano this is your just regular zigzag foot it's the one that comes with the black thing on the left hand side you can choose to pin your vel velcro in place I'm choosing not to and you just want to keep it about a quarter of an inch away from the side here and I am just going to attach this velcro and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to come across I'm going to go up and go go all the way around it's going to go all the way around in a circle I'm also going to turn on my pivot key my pivot key is this button here what it does is every time I stop and start on my presser foot it will automatically raise my presser foot without me having to grab behind the back of the sewing machine it's going to do it automatically for me so let's start sewing and we always want to keep a needle in the down position because every time we stop it helps to keep our placement of our fabric so i'm just going to sew all the way down and if you want, you can do a back stitch. And go down. And as you can see, every time I stop and start, this presser foot is going to automatically raise up and down. I don't have to go behind the back of my machine. My machine does that for me. So now I have more control of what I'm actually sewing because that is going up and down for me. So I'm just going to sew all the way. And back down here. Now to make sure that this Velcro is extra tie on here i'm going to do a crisscross i'm going to draw a kiss on my velcro so i'm just going to go across and in order to get to that other side we're just going to sew across here again and we're going to sew across here so you're creating a crisscross on your velcro I'm just going to do a back stitch and there we go let's do the other side so this is the prickly part the like the part that's like a cat's tongue and we are going to put a needle in the down position always keep it in the down position we're going to go across I'm going to go around in a circle and then we're going to do that crisscross here so we're going to create a kiss And 
and we're going to just go across again and we're going to do a case on this side and just back stitch So I thought it was probably going to still be a little bit too cold even with them two layers of fabric so I am going to add in between that layer a piece of five inch batten just general quilters batten that you would use in between a quilt. So take our first piece of fabric here so this one is just a fluffy one with a fluffy side and that is going to be facing up so the pretty side of the fabric is facing up see how there isn't a pattern on this side but this is the pattern here. We're going to take the next one, the one with the cat tongue, and we're going to put it on top of here like so. So you're going to have two sections of fabric facing opposite ends. So you've got this one facing to the right, and then this one facing to the left. And both sides of the fabric are touching each other. And then we're going to take our batten section and put that right on top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew around here, but we're not going to sew around completely. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap and that has to be one of the ends that doesn't have the fabric. So leave it at the top or the bottom. So I have my my fabric positioned in my sewing machine with the needle in the down position and it's at one of the ends away from the fabric so I've come in a little bit to the bottom edge here because we're going to leave a, a, the centre bit open to pull it all right sides out. So I'm going to start sewing and I'm going to back stitch. I've also decided to sew on the side that is a fabric side and not the part where all the batten is because this point I could actually feel where all my velcro is because I don't want to sew over it I just want to close all the more edges up so I'm just going to continue sewing all the way down And because that needle is in that down position, I can just pivot really easily. It helps me just to turn that fabric and maneuver that fabric around. And I'm going to sew all the way down here. And sew all the way up here. And then I'm coming to the end here. So I don't want to close this all the way up. I want to stop a little bit away here. And I don't like to leave an opening at a corner. It makes everything very, very tricky. So always make sure that you close your corners up. And make sure that you back stitch because we're going to be pulling in and out of here. And it's going to, if you don't back stitch, it's probably going to tear open a little bit. So let's get this out of the sewing machine. So what I'm going to do next is go in with some scissors and I'm going to tidy some of this up. So it's where I've got a little bit of excess, I'll show you here. See, I'm going to just cut off some of this and just make sure that you don't cut into your stitches, but just pretty it up a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull all that fabric right sides out. You're going to push and you're going to poke it. You push it all the way through. Now you're going to have this opening and what we're going to do is you, you just push this in so you've got the raw edges enclosed and you are going to close it up and you can choose to use your iron just to flatten everybody down and then we're going to top stitch this all down. Put it back in the sewing machine, you're going to top stitch it all around. I'm going to do it all the way around.
So now it's time to get our ice pop, wrap it around. And now we have no more frozen fingers. I post videos every single week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.